Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to go over the active versus passive immunity and especially we're going to be targeting uh, the, these diff two different types of immunities when we're dealing with the cancer treatment or cancer immunotherapy. So let's, uh, let's actually get started. So first of all, the immunotherapy is a, a type of cancer treatment that helps our immune system fight defective cancer cells. So essentially, we're empowering our immune system to fight these abnormal cells, which is very important, especially for people that have a weak immune system. Now, before we dive into more details regarding immunotherapy, we have to distinguish between two, more, two main things. We've got passive and active immunity. Now, regarding passive immunity, it is when the immune response is temporary, and this is due to the unavailability of memory cells. Now, we definitely know that memory cells are the ones that are going to be inducing a quick response whenever we get exposed to a previously known antigen. So, basically, in passive immunity, we do not have that. Some examples include the tumor-specific antibodies like the CD20, which help treat chronic uh, lymph uh, lymphatic leukemia, uh, cytokines including the uh, interferon alpha and the interleukin-2. We've spoken about these extensively in previous videos and also adoptive cell transfer, which we are going to be discussing in a later video in this playlist. Now, regarding active immunity, it is when the memory cells are produced, thereby providing a, uh, making their response long-lasting. Now, besides the fact that it's going to be making this response long-lasting, it is going to be inducing a quicker response whenever we're introduced or whenever we're exposed to the same antigen or the same virus or... Well, in this case, definitely we're talking about these uh, specific antigens because they're cancer cells. But th this, uh, these memory cells are not specific to just cancer. They are general. They can be for antigens present on the surface of bacteria, viruses, etc. Uh, and, uh, and other factors, by the way. Now, regarding some examples uh, for active immunity, we've got peptide vaccines, those specific for tumors, dendritic cell uh, vaccines. We basically, we engineer the patient's dendritic cell to present tumor antigens, now, uh, which is going to be facilitating an immune response, and allergenic whole cell vaccines and oncolytic viruses. Now, these viruses are, they are going to be replicating and killing these cancer cells specific. Now, it is worth noting that these viruses can either be natural or they can be engineered. This concludes our very short episode regarding active versus passive immunity. We're hoping to see you back in here for the rest of the videos in this playlist. Thank you for watching. This has been Ali from B Biology.